Hello, Giants fans. Welcome to Giants Baseball 101. I'm Gabe Vaughn, your host. I'm sorry for the slight delay in getting this out. Just had a little thing going on. We got another subscriber. Welcome aboard. Thank you so much for being a part of Giants Baseball 101. The Giants lost to the Nationals 10 to 1 yesterday, so this is serious. The fact that they have been defeated in two games by a team that is going nowhere this year. As well as the fact that it was Logan Webb who was unable to hold the Nationals down. And, and, and while this is definitely a serious condition for the Giants that needs to be overturned soon, I also, pretty soon I want to get into why I don't think that it's time to panic yet. It's, it has to, and it would be serious if the Giants didn't turn things around, but I'm still not ready to panic yet. And I probably, I, I know what most fans, what, what a lot of fans are probably likely to be thinking at this point, especially since last year, there was a skid, a, a seven game losing skid right after the trade deadline. And that the Giants just, just failed last minute when it really looked like they were going all in for a wild card wild for a wild card spot, excuse me, that year. But j just the fact that that's the way history went last year. I know that in 2023 it, it looks a lot like that is repeating itself now. And so I, I, I can understand why why things probably just do not look too good. I, I, I'm going to get into that in a little bit. First, just I just want to briefly go over the game. Logan Webb went just one and a third inning. He allowed six runs. I, I think that's the worst part of it. If it had even been just a, a slight off night for Logan Webb, it would be one thing. But, but he, he was really bad last night. So whatever was wrong, it, it, it was something major. I, I just can't explain this, this bad outing here. Sean Manaya took over after that and four more runs scored against him. He went about five, five and a third innings in long relief. Giants only got one run on the board in the game on a sacrifice fly from Jock Peterson. And the Nationals beat them 10 to 1. So, two games out of the three so far in this series, the Giants have lost to the Nationals. Now, this, this game could be a, a, real, a real cause for panic, but I, I don't think that it's time for that yet. This is the, the fourth straight loss here. I would remember that the Giants, even recently, have had a lot of these, these kind of skids and have had to get back on track. And, and, and even... A couple of weeks ago, they were just, they were surprising us by how bad they were playing after how good they had been playing before. So I wouldn't take this, this little mini skid right now as being something that, that is, is just an isolated surprise by itself. Because I really don't view it that way compared to what has actually happened recently. I, I don't think that this is going to be the, the one thing that changes everything. And in fact, the Giants have shown some resiliency recently, and the fact that they're still in contention for the division is in itself a thing to be pretty happy about. So that is the main reason I would give for, for not panicking right now and expecting that the Giants will bring things under control. 
and, and yes, I, I am definitely disappointed in Logan Webb's start, and I, I'm, I'm not sure why it came down to this. But I, I don't think that it's going to turn out exactly like it did last year. The Giants have had to improve the way they were playing just a lot lately, and it's it's not like it, it it's not like it has been some smooth thing, or that there's been some definite point this season where everything turned for the better without any downturn. With the significant, I, I mean significant progress that the Giants have made, there hasn't been any one point at this season where it's all definitely begun to improve. So that that's those are the points here, and I do think that the Giants can get it together again based on what they've shown. But yes, the pitching does need to be good, and they need to get get solid pitching on the back end of their starting rotation as, as well as having consistently good starts from Logan Webb and Alex Cobb, both of whom didn't pitch well in their last starts. So thank you for watching. This has been Giants Baseball 101. Please subscribe if you haven't. Also, please leave your questions and comments. You know where to do it. I'll see you next time on Giants Baseball 101.